How's it going ladies and bruises, I'm Bobby Sixkill and welcome back to Clean Slate. We just got shot by Luna for stealing her father's heart and making him die. Not sure that's entirely our fault, but it sounds like it might be Janice's fault. Although he does sound like a big piece of shit, so who knows. I opened my eyes again. Somehow we survived being shot. Luna, Luna is kneeling on the floor, sobbing. Behind me, black smoke comes out of a cracked monitor. She missed me. Thank you, Luna. It... it was me. What? I... I told him. I told him to go to room two. You what? Up to how suspicious you were being upstairs? I... I thought you couldn't be trusted. So I told him to ignore your warning and go through door two. But... you were right. You were being honest. And now? I just couldn't bring myself to end yet another life. I've seen enough death for one lifetime. I'm sick of it. Killing you won't bring Dad back. I walk up to her and hug her tight. She just buries her face on my chest and sobs quietly. We stay like this for a while. Eventually Luna calms down and finds a nearby stool to rest on. I can't imagine the stress she must be under. Well, this isn't a walk in the park for me either. Just in case, I unload the gun she dropped on the floor and put the magazine away. Now then. Access granted. Generating vial. Vial complete. Current dose, 97%. Sentient mode enabled. What does that mean? The juice is alive? Finally. After struggling for so long. After surviving through all of this. After travelling through time, twice, I can finally bring back my love, Emma. And when the time comes, save Lucian too. She fell asleep. Even if I go back to that night, her father would still be dead. The surgery was way before that. And if I go back, we'll probably never meet. She'll keep on seeking her revenge. She'll be bitter and lonely again. And what if Lucian dies again? She might even come here alone and die in one of the rooms. Not to mention, it's a very high dose I'm dealing with here. I'm not even guaranteed I'll make it that far back in one piece. What's the right thing to do? Is it okay for me to keep playing God? I mean, no, but we're going to do it anyway, aren't we? Oh man, well, that's a choice I'm going to have to save before. I have to see what happens when we go back. Save Emma. I'm sorry, Luna. I hope you can forgive us someday. Hey, it worked. I think. <laughs> Is this the night the robbery happens? Yep, yeah, nope. Alright, skip. Ending. Love. Even though these past two years have been hell, I can't just erase them. Emma doesn't deserve this. I'm not the person I was two years ago. She doesn't deserve this hollow, bitter man. I've got something I have to do here. She needs help. 
I'm sorry about what happened, Luna. I know I can't replace your father, but... We'll make sure to repay you as best we can. Right, Lucian? Who killed Lucian? That's what I need to know. First off, let us erase your crime, Luna. Let me borrow your inv invention one last time, Dr. Lucian Janice. File complete, what are we doing? Didn't we already make one? Erase what crime? Shh. Oh, killing Sam. Right? Good. It's Brendan. He's dead. I don't know. There's no way someone got in before me. A failed experiment, if I had to guess? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'll leave the rest to you. No, I'm leaving on my own. Yes, I'll drop by tomorrow. See you then. What the? How did you? Hey, what's going on? We're just going to go straight in and destroy the mixing machine or whatever. I'm assuming that's the plan. What? What the? You knew all the passwords already? G God. He's... He's dead. I think I'm gonna be sick. What? Whoa! What do you think you're doing with that? Take it easy, Brendan. Don't do anything stupid, okay? I won't be needing that anymore. What? What the fuck? Are you out of your mind? You almost scare me to death? This place is gonna be full of cops in a matter of minutes. I'm leaving right now. You should come with. Fine. Looks like I don't have a choice. Glad you understand. This way. Alright then. I'll call us a cab from my workplace. I'll leave you at your place and that'll be it. We'll forget this ever happened and move on with our lives. Why are you doing this? Why are you helping me? Because you don't belong in prison. Is that so? You don't know that. Believe me, Luna. I know all I need to know. What's that supposed to mean? Okay, the cab's here. Let's go. Fine. So, care to explain what just happened? Uh, 
Like, how did you manage to go upstairs without me noticing? Or why did you suddenly know all the passwords? Or why did you shoot the machine down like a lunatic? Guess not. Thanks for helping me get out of there, by the way. I really do appreciate it. It was nothing. I owe you this much. What? Owe me? Nothing. Don't worry about it. I can't believe I got nothing out of the whole night. I... I really need to get some money and quick. We're close to losing our house. I'm sorry you couldn't get what you were there for. That's easy for you to say. You solved the case in record time. You're probably going to get a huge bonus and a promotion now. I... I'm not currently employed as a detective. This is more of a one-time deal. No, you're still getting paid, aren't you? No? Well, this is it. Home sweet home. Don't know for how much longer though. Luna. I'm sorry. About everything. Forget about it. You were just doing your job. Luna. I... Yes? Take care, okay? I'll try. Well. I guess this is goodbye then. Thanks for the lift and all that. No problem. Goodbye, Luna. For the next few weeks after the incident, Lucian's passing was all over the nose. The circumstances surrounding his death were never known, though. It is to this day a mystery. You didn't really solve the case at record time at all, because you didn't save it, solve it. As for his lab and his wealth, there were no clear heirs. He had no siblings, no wife and no children. The government was about to take everything, but then... Sally found his last will within his belongings, and he detailed what he was to be done with all his possessions. The first person to ever manage to open the vault would get everything. Apparently, Sam was found inside the lab when the police came and was arrested on the spot. So in a twist of fate, I inherited all of his fortune. I donated everything that was inside his vault to the university he graduated from. As for the money, I really have no use for such a ridiculous sum. I have enough with my new job and I wasn't planning on quitting and living off Lucian's money. No, I couldn't quit twice. I couldn't do that to Sally, or to myself. I knew exactly what to do with Lucian's money. I could finally assume responsibility. And do what I stayed here to do. What I left it all behind for. To start making up for the hor horrible crime Lucian and I committed seven years ago. Well. Back to work. And the ending is called... Redemption. Nice. Like it. Now I'm not sure if there are more endings, because we only started with door 1 and door 2. I'll take door 3, I guess. How about you guys? Alright Luna, you choose next. Well, I'll pick one. That makes the most sense to me. Then I'll go ahead and go with room 2. Alright. Sure. Great. Then it's settled. We'll meet out here when we're done with our rooms. And we'll exchange information. And then we can all explore room 4 together. Sounds like a plan. Alright guys. Good luck. As soon as I set foot inside the room, the door shuts behind me. I turn around and confirm my suspicion. It's locked. For now, I should focus on finding the password. Have we done all this? Yeah, let's just skip all this. Skip puzzle. Yes, we done it. I... 
I did it. I plop down on the floor and heave a sigh. Then I start laughing. I think we haven't done uh, Room 4's puzzle yet, like, at all. So, next time we'll have a puzzle to do. I did it. I did it, Lucian. After staring at the ceiling for who knows how long, I finally get out of this godforsaken room. Hmm. No one's here. Wait. Does that mean... Oh. Oh god. They both died? Sam. God damn it all. Yep. Well, we picked the worst one this time. The one where everybody dies. I... It's all my fault. Why? Why did I let these kids help me? What have I done? Why... Why did I have to survive? Why me? Why does it always have to be me? After the incident, Sally ended up taking full responsibility for what happened. She lost her position as chief, and is currently facing charges for charges for negligent homicide. I haven't been to work in weeks. I haven't been picking up my phone. All I'm doing is waiting. Waiting for him. For him to appear again. To end it all. Yet, I waited, and waited, and waited, but he never came. That was bad, Jesus. Alright, time for door four, oh, room four, and the guilt, yikes. Room four, and the, the one puzzle room we haven't done yet. Room four. I'll take door four, I guess. How about you guys? Alright, Luna, you can choose next. I don't care. I'll just take three. Then I'll go ahead and explore room two. Is that okay with everyone? Well, he's dead. <laughs> no problem. Sure. Great. Then it's all settled. We'll meet out here when we're done with our rooms and we'll exchange information. And then we can explore room one together. Sounds like a plan. Alright guys, good luck. He's going into the colorblind room again. The color room. He's gonna die again. Let's see here. I think there's something on the computer screen. Here we go. Time for our last puzzle. Welcome to room number four. The puzzles in this room revolve around measurements. You're required to measure the specified amounts of amount of units with the given elements. The first puzzle is one you may already know. Use one five liter beaker and one three liter beaker to measure three li liters of liquid. Good luck. Man, this can take me forever. All right, this shouldn't be too hard. I thought that about the maze one, but that was ass. Just have to play around with these beakers until I get four liters, right? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Uh, fill that. Wait, no. Wait. Fill that. How many do we need? Four. Empty that. Fill that. Bam. Piece of cake. Good, that's done. Preparing puzzle number two. This is just the first one though. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, you'll need to fill the beakers with the amount shown on the top of the screen. Be wary though, this time you'll start with a full beaker and you cannot add or remove any amount of liquid. That should make it easier. Hmm. I see. This looks a bit harder, but nothing I can't handle. 
Wait, what's... Oh, we can... Is there another one over here? We can ditch three leaders. Ditch three leaders? Oh, it just goes to this one. I see, I see. Wait, what do we need? I don't understand what we need. Goal. Two out of seven, two out of four, three out of three. Do we need to max them all out? How's that possible? So they all have to have an even amount or something. Yes! Two down. I don't even know what I did. Preparing puzzle number three. Where's my pen and paper? Oh, now we got, um... He's got a fancy calligraphy pen because I can't find a proper pen. I'll go to the last puzzle of the room. For this challenge, you'll be provided with a four minute and a seven minute hourglass. So you can turn the hourglasses over as much as you like. Now it will only start running when you press the pass minutes button. When you do, you'll let the sand in the hourglass fall until one of them is empty. Then, that much time will be added to your total. Of course, time will pass for both hourglasses simultaneously. When one runs out, the other will have run for the same amount of time. In other words, the hourglass with the lowest amount of minutes left and it will run completely, and the other glass will just... will run just for that many minutes. Your objective is to measure exactly nine minutes. If you go over the time limit, you need to start over. Okay. Huh. Okay, this one looks a bit more complicated. I guess I better start playing around a bit. Try to get a hang of how it works. Maybe I can think of a strategy as I go. If you ever get stuck, some puzzles feature hints here, yeah. So this has seven minutes, and this has four minutes, and we need to get to nine minutes. This is complicated. Alright, alright. Alright, I think I got it. If we turn over both... Oh my god, I've got... Writing on both sides of this envelope. My piece of paper is an envelope. Oh man, it's probably got my address on it. It's alright, I'm none of you are in New Zealand anyway. <laughs> uh, we're gonna pass four minutes. Then we're gonna pass... Three minutes. And then we're gonna pass one minute. Then turn this over. One more minute. Nine. Boom. Yes. I I did it. I plopped out on the chair and heave a heavy sigh. Then I just started laughing. I did it. I did it, Lucian. I'm alive. Having successfully completed room 4, I go back outside to meet the others. I find Luna, who's staring at door 2 while smoking. Her hand's shaking. No, her whole body is. I don't blame her, though. I think this took a toll on all of us. Luna, you're out. Good job. Are you alright? Janice... Huh? Janice... Janice just killed someone. Oh, Sam's dead again. Yeah, because you're in room two. What? I've never been to war, but... I think this is what it must feel like to be shell-shocked. I've seen a big deal of death throughout my career, but... This is the first time... This is the first time the killer is my best friend. What happened? Did he... Did he run out of time? Luna takes a long drag on her cigarette, then exhales and points at the little screen on the second door. Oh god. Luna just keeps smoking, staring blankly at the door. This... This can't be happening. I swear I didn't know. I swear. I never said it was your fault, Brendan. If anything, you're only to blame for trusting that son of a bitch. She drops his cigarette on the floor and walks away from me. Her eyes were glassy and her voice was cracking. Meanwhile, my throat is twisting in a knot. Who am I kidding? 
Why did I think I could do this? I quit my job because I knew I was a failure. Why the hell would an irresponsible slob like me take on something like this? You did it again, Brendan. Good fucking job. Have you heard this one already? You let someone fucking die on you again. Aren't you proud of yourself? Isn't this exactly why you quit in the first place? What the fuck am I doing here? The family is going to be waiting for their son to come home, but he never will. Did he have a partner? Children? I should have never accepted help from him. How could I even consider it? Why do I never learn? Lucian, how could you? I... I should call the police. It's over. Don't. What? Please don't. What do you mean, don't? Luna, someone died just now. We can't just... And then what? What do you... I'll tell you what happens next. You call the police. They swarm the place. This becomes a crime scene. They take us in for questioning. We get out tomorrow. This place will be a parking lot by then. What the... How do you know about the demolition? Oh, so you knew as well. Then you must know better than anyone that you can't call the cops. I know you feel shitty. You think I'm okay with this? You think I don't want to just run back home and just pretend none of this happened? This is our only chance. There's no trying again tomorrow. We can't give up now. And you know it. No, I'm through. I won't make the same mistake again. Forget it. Sam was a scientist and even he failed one of the rooms. Brendan, for fuck's sake, snap out of it. Sam's... Sam's gone. And I don't like it any more than you do. But we can't just quit. We both know we need to see this through. Even if it's for different reasons. I can't put you in danger again. Then, help me solve the next puzzle. With the two of us, there shouldn't be a problem, right? Are you really that certain that we can make it? I know the risks. But I can't give up either. I... I need to do this right. My mother. She's counting on me. This is our only chance to get back on our feet. I'm all she's got. Think of how your mother would feel if she lost you. One big story is not worth it. Shut up. You don't know what it's like for us. If I don't do this, if we can't get into that vault, then I might as well just die here. Is this really that important to you, Luna? I've been waiting for a chance like this for a long time. It all comes down to this. I can't fail now. <sighs> we better do this right from now on. No screwing around. Do you have your password from room 3? Yep, took a picture of it with my phone. Alright. It'll be fine, trust me. We'll make it out. Yeah, we will. For Sam. For Sam. Fuck Sam. <laughs> Sorry. A chance like this? Does something really happen between Lucian and her? I'll have to ask you when we get out. Nah, man, you guys are gonna die. Obviously. I could really go for a smoke right now. No, Brendan. You've work to do. You'll smoke when you're done. Okay, let's go. Should be able to skip the puzzle at least, so that's cool. Just like before, the door shuts behind us. Okay. The familiar video immediately starts playing. I don't bother listening to it again. Sure enough, there's one here too. Hopefully I won't be needing this. We better start looking through the room and find the puzzles. Let's see here. I think there's something on the computer screen. Welcome to room number- yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't catch a thing from that. Huh? You didn't get it? Well, did you? I'm sorry I'm no good at this. I mean, I'm good with computers and stuff. But chemistry? Pass. What do you mean, pass? Hey! I'm talking to you. So she said that she was confident we'd get out. Well, 
I better get started. Skip puzzle. Oh, that one made my head hurt. But at least most of it is done. We'll be out of here in no time. Luna? Oh, here comes the man with no face. Now you gotta be kidding me. I turn my head and see Luna completely frozen in place. This can only mean one thing. I pick up the computer chair with both hands. Leave me the fuck alone. And throw it across the room. We've done this. We gotta get out of the way. Those drawers? I believe I checked those before. There's nothing useful in them. That's right. Lucian left the syringe in the drawer. We can just skip all this. Let's finish this. Linda starts moving again as if nothing had happened. She's facing away from me, checking some stuff on a desk while smoking a cigarette. Then she turns around and... Hey, how's it? Why is that chair broken? You... Want to lay off the desserts? <laughs> My fat ass broke the chair. That's not nice. So, let's look at the second part of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. Saves me the trouble of coming up with an excuse, I guess. Skip. Congratulations, you have completed room one. Hmm. Corazon, what's that supposed to mean? Isn't that Spanish for heart? Huh? You know Spanish? Eh. Un poco? A little bit. But why would the password be heart anyway? Heh. <laughs> Just Janice being cheeky. Finally, we exit room one. I lost count of how many times I almost died today. I take a deep breath and plop down on the floor. Seems like the years are catching up to me. Lena doesn't look so good either. She's leaning against the wall, smoking a cigarette. She's trying to look cool, gazing into the distance. But she's not fooling anyone. She's sweating bullets. So. Someone has to address the elephant in the room. Ahem. <clears throat> I know we only have three passwords, but shouldn't we try opening it anyway? Can't hurt to try, right? I guess not. But first, what is it now? I gotta go. What? You're leaving? Oh, sure. I'll go right ahead. Thank you. She rolls her eyes, flicks her cigarette butt away and gets up from the wall. Then she strolls past me and goes up the stairs. That's weird. There's a restroom down here. Why is she bothering to go all the way up? Oh well, who cares? She's obviously up to something sus then. I still can't believe what's happening. Someone just died here and it's all my fault. And Lucian is probably as well. What am I going to do? 